Hello and welcome to our presentation on Apple and the Dilemma of Cheap Electronics. Apple was founded in 1976. It was founded by Steve Jobs, Steve Wozniak and Ronald Wayne. It is the second largest IT company in the world and also the third largest producer of mobile phones. Apple is a multinational company producing and selling goods across many continents. Apple produced a variety of products such as the iPhone, the iPad, the iPod, MacBooks and Apple TV. There are over 70,000 employees worldwide and operate in 14 countries. Apple subcontracted their manufacturing work to a company called Foxconn. Foxconn are the world's largest electronic contract manufacturers. But Apple are not the only organization who outsource their production. Other large corporations such as Acer, IBM, Dell, Sony and Google outsource their manufacturing work also. Foxconn is a Taiwanese company traded under Han High Precision Industry. Foxconn are based in countries such as China, Brazil, India, Japan, Malaysia and Mexico. So why do Apple outsource their manufacturing work? Apple's main reason for outsourcing is that the flexibility, speed and scale in factory workers just doesn't exist in the US. A factory in Foxconn district reports that 3,000 people queued every Monday morning seeking employment. To get this many resources in the US would take months. Apple's executives had estimated that about 8,700 industrial engineers were needed to oversee and guide the 200,000 assembly line workers eventually involved in manufacturing iPhones. The company's analysts had forecast that it would take as long as 9 months to find that many qualified engineers in the United States. In China, it took 15 days. There are many reasons why Apple outsourced. Cheaper labour, lower taxes, cheaper running costs, less worker benefits, low import tariffs. And with only one thing in mind, money. The cheaper Apple can develop their products, the greater the profit. Cheaper labour. A typical Foxconn employee earns on average $1.25 per hour and works 70 hours per week. Therefore, their total monthly salary accounts to $350 per month. If we compare this to the US, a typical factory worker would earn on average $2,030 per month. This is calculated from 70 standard working hours, not including overtime rates. Lower taxes. In a recent study by KPMG, they illustrated that China and India are the most tax-friendly countries in relation to corporate income tax, capital tax, sales tax and property tax, where Foxconn manufacturers are predominantly based, whereas the United States lie only 8th on this list. Running costs. Running costs is another factor which has to be considered when choosing to outsource. China possesses cheaper building and equipment costs as well as cheaper electricity costs. In China, the cost of electricity varies between 7.5 to 10.7 US cents per kilowatt per hour, compared to the US electricity cost of 8 to 17 US cents per kilowatt per hour. Less worker benefits. Foxconn employees work excessive overtime without receiving overtime rates. Employees at Foxconn only receive 70% of their wage when they take a sick day. Should workers at Foxconn be involved in an accident at work, they will receive little or no compensation for their injuries. Low import tariffs. The United States have the lowest import tariffs in the world. The consequence of this is that importing goods back into the US is relatively cheap. The tax on imports is 3% on average. Cheap manufacturing causes a divide between job creation and product pricing. If we take the following scenario. Would you like manufacturing jobs back in your country? Yes! yes. Would you pay more for the products? No! no. USA and Europe would like the manufacturing jobs back in their countries but are not willing to pay the higher prices as a result. If we compare the selling price of an iPhone manufactured in China versus that of an iPhone manufactured in the United States, the cost of the product would effectively double. So where does that leave Europe and USA? Less employment opportunities, increased strain on economies funds, more people immigrating, and higher taxes to counteract extra government expenses. Cheap manufacturing costs as a consequence sheds light on the working conditions inside Foxconn. People working inside Foxconn are victim to the following. Excessive overtime, dangerous working conditions, high work intensity, no insurance, unfair pay, unfamiliarity with unions. Workers inside Foxconn face the following dangerous conditions on a daily basis. 
bad ventilation, hazardous fumes, failure to report accidents. Studies have shown 14 suicides were committed between January and December 2010. These people were aged between 17 and 28. Employees were asked to sign non-suicide pledges, which meant the employee or their family cannot sue the organization for unexpected death, self-injury or suicide. We interrupt this presentation with a brief word from our sponsors. Injury Lawyers for you, handling all claims, big and small. Have you had an accident at work that wasn't your fault? If you are a Foxconn employee and were involved in an incident, then you may be entitled to nothing. Outsourcing can be categorised in three different ways. The good, greater profit and cheaper products, the bad, loss of jobs for Europe and America, and the ugly, poor working conditions which in turn opens the possibility of suicides. Taking the dilemma of cheap electronics into perspective, studies have shown the following to be the most plausible solutions. Reduce the exploitation of workers inside the Foxconn factories, or bring back the manufacturing jobs to the United States and Europe, but in turn reducing flexibility and profit. Aside from the negativity surrounding cheap electronics, there are numerous positives that surface as a result. Greater profits available to invest in innovation, job creation for largely populated countries, cheaper products for the consumer and more highly skilled service jobs created in Europe and USA. The knock-on effect of manufacturing jobs going elsewhere is that service jobs being created in Europe and the United States has seen a steady increase whilst manufacturing jobs have witnessed a steady decline. With the increasing demand for cheaper electronics, outsourcing is here to stay. With many other companies making the transition, it's clear the apple never falls far from the tree. This presentation was brought to you by Sean O'Connor, Aidan Mulrain and Keith Moore. We hope you enjoyed this presentation and thank you for watching.